boy here back with another video um and today i'm gonna do a 30 subscriber special um i thank all of you guys for um the 30 subs i really appreciate it um so yeah so i want to do a cars 3 video so you guys already know i already did a cars 3 video on the um extended trailer review and that was like my most popular video ever 1.1k views and counting so i'm really proud of that so i thought i'll do another one and i'll be sharing my thoughts on the cars 3 teaser trailer too number two well actually this one was released before the other one but like let's just go with it so um first first car they're showing out of the three is jackson storm and like he looks menacing Okay, um, so, okay, you can see it better. So, um, as you can see, um, he has the light year tires. Like, you know, it's like a next gen version, kind of. And that front end, like, look at it, so sharp. You know, and like, um, this blue part, it, it reminds me of the Cadillacs. You know, ca like modern Cadillac concept cars, they have that. And I'll add for their headlights. So yeah. So let's keep on moving. And the sound is menacing man. So you could clearly see the carbon fiber there. And like that blue lining. Which looks makes it makes him look so much cooler. Igniter which is his sponsor. And then over there you can see Jackson Storm. I written like that. I think it's pretty cool. So see his uh now his headlights turn on. So um you know stock cars they're not required for to have headlights. So I mean McQueen does because in cars too he had to get them for the World Grand Prix. But the interesting part I see here, right, is that only the top part like I'm like up. So it looks like that bottom there is just stickers. So yes. And this is his rear, like oh my gosh man. So um you got the you know rookie it, it, you got the yellow there which signifies he's a rookie racer and you got his number two point oh and you know igniters there and then the lights turn on. And so, um, the lights, they remind me of the Lycan Hypersport, the W Motors Lycan Hypersport. So, um, but like the, just the lights though. I mean, the rear kind of resembles it. It's more like curved and jagged and you know, that. Okay, so here's the exhaust pipes, right? And you can also hear the sound. So, um, just this part disproves any theory that Jackson and Next Generation Racers are electric, but it doesn't disprove that they are hybrid. So it does not disprove that, which is what I believe they are. And that's probably why they have that like weird sound compared to McQueen, which we're gonna see soon. And that's his roof. And he even has the gray eyes, like, matching his paint and, like, his character. I mean, oh my gosh. Just dead. Okay, moving on to the next car. Introducing Jackson Storm. Here we have Cruz Ramirez. You know, she's, like, a very upbeat character. So we could definitely see that she is a she is a CRS and a CRS rate car. And um her paint job is really plain, except for this part, the Rusty's Racing Center Team 95. So it looks like she works in Radiator Springs, maybe or like at another branch of Rusty's, probably. You know, and she works there and she's a fan of McQueen and she's obviously gonna be training. McQueen. And her paint job is really plain, man. Except for that. 
and that's her exhaust pipe. The sound it doesn't really sound like a actual like sports car really. And the way his, her rims look, the the rims look kind of small, you know. So it's not like she's supposed to be a really like. Just from that perspective, it doesn't seem like she's supposed to be a really fast car. Or okay, and then there's. We don't really use much to talk about cruise. And then the one we've been waiting for. They had to ask, but come on. This is never gonna get old, like, no, like, no way, never. So, okay, so, you know what, um, for the, some people who don't know, uh, I'm gonna, like, you know, um, look at the sponsors and, like, sh and say how, how they reference to cars. So, Piston Cup, obviously, right? So, it's like, you know, Piston is the part of the, it's one of the parts of the engine. Octane, um... I'm not too sure about that. It's like gas or something. RPM. Now, um, RPM stands for revs per minute in real life. Revolting. That's like, you know, a reference to the car's battery. And clutch aid. You know, the, uh, what, another part of the car is the clutch. So, you no know, which helps change gear, I guess. See that? Now that is the sound of a classic American V8. Okay, there's no electrical uh, assist in that. It's just pure glorious sound. There's the tail lights and everything. Oh my gosh, McQueen's always gonna have a special place in my heart. Like. Okay, so um now I wanted to talk about the specs of these cars. So like um actually Di Disney Pixar did um um release specs like actual specs on the cars. Like all three cars cars three specs. Let me see if I can get it. Um Hmm. Okay, so I mean they have McQueen. So let's just look at McQueen's here. So um they haven't really did a spec release on McQueen. Um I would I would have assumed that he does 200 miles an hour, but as you, as you can see there, it's 198. And um, okay, anyway, let's just like go through. So he, vehicle type. So um he's obviously not a, based off a real life racer. So he is a 2006 custom built piston cup racer okay um so he was built in 2006 i guess or like he was released in 2006 his engine is a yeah a full race v8 with 750 horsepower in reality stalker all stock cars should have that power and that and that same engine as uh, all the other cars it's a high strength tubular frame chassis it had um it's 24 gauge cold rolled sheet metal, huh? And 0 to 60 in 4 seconds? Which is like, I would think he would be much faster because, I mean, really, in reality, a Formula 1 car like Francesco, he could go, he could bolt off to 60 miles an hour in like 2, like, 2 and a half seconds, man. And McQueen was keeping up with him and, you know, cars too. So, I mean, uh... And then, you know, top speed says 198. So, yeah. Okay, so, let's go here. And, now, Cruise is another example of a non, um, re not a real car, but, like, you know, fictional. So, she is a 2017 CRS Sports Coupe. So, 2017 is the year she is released. CRS is, um, her, her company. 
and sports group, I guess, is a model. And engine is a high high performance dual overhead cam V6. So you know how it says V6 there? That's pro and dual overhead cam. So that's probably why she, um, you know, she, she sounded weird. Like, um, it was like, uh, I don't know. It's like, uh, more, more like a production, uh, more like a city car, you know, a regular car. And then chassis is an aerodynamic Venturi channel. Uh, okay, weird. She's a lightweight alloy. Zero to sixty, it's she is two tenths of a second faster to sixty than McQueen. But here's the part I don't get: top speed of two hundred ten miles an hour. What? She's a dual overhead cam V six man. I mean, well, high performance, but she like nothing about her really says high performance besides the fact that she's a coupe. And like, look at the rims too. The rims. I would expect them to be bigger and her body to be like like more fenders and flares and you know air vents and whatnot if she goes 210 miles an hour like man like a dual over head cam v6 that's what you can find in the honda odyssey a minivan man like come on i mean high performance like you could get you could go 210 miles an hour in a dual over head cam v6 no way no only in the cars world <laughs> Okay, let's go to Jackson Storm. So, he's, um, his specs are probably going to be similar to all the next generation racers. So, yeah, um, okay, um, so he's a 2017 custom built next gen piston cup racer. While McQueen was a 20, 2006 custom built piston cup racer. And his engine is a maximum performance V8 with 850 horsepower. So according to Disney Pixar, he has 100 more horsepower than McQueen. And um, this also, and this is also why I think he might be um, electrically assisted with 850 horsepower. That's kind of hard to get out of a V8, like unless it's assisted with like an electric motor, like a small electric motor, like it is in the Porsche 918. Porsche 918, I believe, has a V8, and it has an electric motor, and electric motor assisted, and that's how the Porsche makes 887 horsepower. So it's not, it's not going to be a surprise if, in fact, that he has hybrid. He's a hybrid. And then it says here, hydroformed alloy and steel. Alloy and steel. That's his chassis. So it was formed out of water. They used water in the process. Dang. And um, the body is carbon fiber. Okay, that's like a really popular material these days. And metal composite. 0, 060 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. And top speed of 214 miles an hour. Like, man, boy, just wow. So, um, technically, if he, if he had the, he's obviously gonna have the main V8 up front, right? And, um, um, uh, here's the thing that is also less disproving the theory that he is, you know, um, electric assisted. Because, okay, well, first off, it doesn't say anything about electric when, at the engine. It just says V8. Okay, and if if the electric motor was in the rear, it should it should be um power also powering the uh, front wheels. Wait, no. Or maybe um okay, this oh yeah, actually so uh okay so the electric motors are also here making rear wheel drive. Okay, okay, so okay, I'm just um thinking as I go, but um. So the engine's up front and it sends power to the rear. Um, and then also there you also have the electric motor which gives more power to the rear. And that's how it's uh, 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Because 850 horsepower, that's a lot of power so you're bound to get some wheel spin. And then the fact that it's added electric motor. Like, you know, there's a, you know, so... That 3.6 seconds with electric motor makes sense. And like, 
um i know it doesn't say anything about an electric motor there but there is a there is still a chance man i still believe that it's an electric motor because mcqueen's a v8 and he his, and so is jackson and they sounded very different like very different like you know um i mean J.I. jackson makes 100 more horsepower that doesn't have to do anything with the sound and yeah i guess and then you know i think uh if we go back here okay let's go back to jackson a bit. okay hold on you can see okay see you there's that red there and you see some blue okay that's kind of saying it's he's electric man like come on for mcqueen if i could go find that it was red just red just red so you see that so i'm betting guys i'm pretty sure 95 percent sure that jackson storm and probably some or all of the next generation racers are electrically assisted. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I went a little in depth. Um, if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And uh, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time, well, um, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, you can go check out my other videos and please subscribe. So yeah, guys. Thank you for watching and peace.